new day is dawning There's beauty and happiness everywhere Jump up, destiny's calling You and your friends have so much to share Swinging through life on this great adventure The spirit of nature will see you through There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries Lessons of love that are waiting for you Look up, there's joy all around you Nature is wondrous, but beware The law of the jungle has a lesson for life But you can still soar right up to the sky Hold your head up high Keep your courage inside and sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. This way, Lala. Oh, look at that view! Thank you, Lori. If you hadn't asked me to join you on the morning patrol, I'd still be at home right now. Early morning is the loveliest part of the day. If you like mornings, Lala, you'll love being on the patrol. We'll get up at dawn every day. Fine! I enjoy getting up. I may have been a late sleeper when I was younger, but nowadays I rise early. Well, good for you. The early bird catches the worm. Hope I catch something tastier than a worm. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm honored that you chose me to be your helper on morning patrol. I know you care about preserving our jungle, Lori. And I want to help you. Thank you, Lala. I'm grateful for your support. Wolves need this jungle for survival. The least we can do is protect it from harm. What? Protect the jungle from harm? What harm? What do they mean? Why are they on patrol? I hope they aren't expecting trouble. Must admit, I'm worried. Now, now, calm down, Baloo. Lori and Lala are simply doing their part to keep our jungle safe. Really? If that's true, it's quite a noble gesture. But this is a very big jungle. Can they protect it all? If anyone can, it's those two. Why, just look at how our jungle has changed since Lori became the pack's leader. Our friends, the wolves, are finally relaxed and happy. And smaller animals are glad because the wolves are no longer in disarray. So they don't have to go after every squirrel and rabbit they see. What you say makes sense. But I'm still... You're still what, Baloo? Let's hear it. I'm still worried that Lurie is too gentle to lead the pack effectively. Oh, I don't think you need to worry about Lurie being too gentle. It's true, she's kind of helpless creatures. But when the wolf pack is in danger, Lurie becomes a tough and decisive leader. If you want proof, look at how she handled Grizzle. Yes, you're right. She may be gentle, but Lurie has what it takes to lead a wolf pack. She's a worthy successor to a Kayla. Gangway! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mowgli, Kichi! Where are you both off to in such a hurry? Is something wrong? <laughs> no, nothing's wrong. We're going to see some rare flowers that bloom only once every ten years. <laughs> well, wait.
wait for me. Bye now. are called moa flowers. They're normally an ordinary shade of green, but once every ten years they bloom to a brilliant crimson color. They're beautiful. Akela told me about them, Bagheera. He said there's a legend that in the season the moa flowers bloom, good fortune will come to the entire jungle. Last time the moa flowers turned red, the wolves had their best hunting season ever. I wonder what the red flowers will bring this time. Good question. Can't wait to see. Well, man cub, good fortune will probably strike when you least expect it. That's how it always is. I wonder how that human's doing. I never even knew his name. That's going nicely. <gasps> Caught one! Stop you! Stay back, Mowgli. I'll take care of this scoundrel. Get out of here, you marauder, before I throw you out. Careful! Don't worry, this won't take long. You taught that jackal a lesson! Phew! Well, that's taken care of. Mm-hmm! Huh? Bagheera! That jackal scratched you just under your ear. It's nothing, Mowgli. Now come. Mm-hmm. Stop worrying, Mowgli. My ear is fine. That scratch will heal in a jiffy. I'd rather play it safe, Bagheera. I still have a few leaves of healing plants. I'll put them on your ear to make it better. Huh? That's funny. The leaves have disappeared. I'll go find some more. Looks like I'm running a little low on healing plant, Bagheera. I'll go to Kandra Clearing and gather more. Don't move. I'll be right back. Really, Mowgli, don't bother. Stay there, Bagheera. I'll be back soon. Hmm. Ready or not? <laughs> Again! <laughs> huh? Mowgli, where are you off to? To find healing plants for Bagheera. He's waiting for me at my lair. Make sure he doesn't leave. But, but... Guess 
that human won't be back. Picking some flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Jamira, where are you? Who? Huh? Over here, Grandfather. Oh, here you are. You mustn't wander too far away. There are many dangerous animals roaming in this part of the jungle. Hmm? Hmm? <gasps> the boy! The wild boy! <laughs> What a stroke of good fortune. I thought I'd never see you again. I was worried about you. <laughs> but you look like you've been doing fine. Huh? So you see, Jamira, this boy and I are friends. It sure is good to see you. Father, if the boy grew up in the jungle, does that explain why he can't understand us when we talk to him? Maybe he can understand. Maybe he just doesn't know how to answer. Little friend, I'd like you to meet my granddaughter, Jamira. She sometimes joins me on my trips into the jungle and helps me with my work here. It's a miracle that she ran across you. I don't think he understood a word you said, Grandfather. Perhaps you're right, Jamira, but it can't hurt to try. <laughs> Jamira. Yes, Grandfather? You brought me good fortune today. You found my young friend for me. Jamira. Jamira. That's right. Jamira. Jamira. Uh, Mowgli. Jamira. Mowgli. Mowgli? Your name is Mowgli? Uh huh. So that's your name. You're Mowgli. Well, well, well. Mowgli, is it? <laughs> A fine name. Hmm. That fang of the humans is sharp. It can bite through tree branches. That would sure come in handy in the deep jungle. It's great. Huh? Hmm. Now, what are you mumbling about? Never seen a man cutting wood before? <sighs> I'll explain. The villagers need wood to cook their food. So I cut some and... Oh, what am I going on about? You don't understand a word I'm saying. I might as well be talking to a wild jungle wolf. <laughs> What's this? Trying to help me? <laughs> Even if you can't talk, it's obvious that you're a fine, good-hearted boy. <laughs> Grandfather Wahar, tea is ready. Better come and drink it while it's hot. Mowgli, too. <laughs> Mowgli, if you're looking for 
your medicine, Grass. I have it. <laughs> Here, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Turn the cloth the next time we see each other. I hope it's soon, Mowgli. I guess someone's waiting for that medicine. Hurry to them. We'll be here if you decide to come back. <sighs> Have a safe journey. Come back and see us sometime. Bye, Mowgli. I sure hope he isn't in any trouble. Maybe he couldn't find the healing plants. Or maybe... Maybe what, Kichi? Maybe something happened to him. Don't say that. I couldn't bear to think Mowgli was in distress. Oh, please. Honestly, Lala, I think you're being a worrywart. If I know Mowgli, he's taking a nap somewhere. Bagheera, you shouldn't be on your feet. You're injured. Go lie down! I am not injured, Kichi. I have a scratch on my ear. And I must say, I'm getting heartily tired of all this waiting around. Hmm? I'm leaving. Please be good enough to inform Mowgli that I am deeply grateful for all his concern. You come back here! Bagheera! Save your breath, Kichi. Bagheera's not listening. I think we should keep waiting? Uh-uh, let's go! Bagheera! Huh? Here he comes, Lala! Sorry it took me so long, I was delayed. You're a little late, Mowgli. Bagheera just left. Mm. Careful, Mowgli, that sparks. No wonder it hurts. The wound was becoming infected. This plant will stop the infection in short order. That's it. Wow. Mowgli, when you met that human who had saved your life, were you surprised? Mm-hmm. I never thought I'd see him again. It was a stroke of pure luck. Was I ever glad to see him? Wow! I guess it was the red moa flowers that gave you the luck to meet him alone in the jungle. He wasn't alone. Jamira was with him. Who? Jamira? Is that another human, Mowgli? Uh, well, I, I mean, it's no one, really. Hmm? Pardon me. I hate to interrupt, Mowgli, but would you please get on with my treatment? Why, certainly. A few more dabs and you're done.
Mowgli? Huh? Huh? Mowgli, where are you? Gee, yes, he's gone. But where to? Can all live 